This is the third lawn care setup video. Uh, last year and the year before, I did the same thing, but with my previous setup. This year, it's a heck of a lot different. Um, if you check out the old videos, you, nothing is the same here except for the stand on in the front. The John Deere is the same from last year, but not the year before. So we're going to walk you through, let you see everything and just kind of show you the setup and how everything works. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy. We're going to start at the front of the setup here uh, to start off. This is a 2003 uh, F-250 Super Duty with a 5.4 liter V8 gas engine. Um, it's got some light modifications, but not really anything major. Uh, beefier tires, headache rack, lights for plowing snow, light bars and strobe light um, facing forward and backwards. And then LED lights up front and back and then the inside is just pretty basic. It's a manual transmission. It's kind of a mess in there, but that's kind of what normal life is like. So the only thing in here that's different is a uh, touchscreen radio and a CB radio. Um, yeah, manual transfer case, manual transmission, crank windows, manual locks, like nothing fancy at all. Um, stickers and lettering on the side to give some advertisement. Um, the mud flaps I did. Uh, trying to think what else I added. Nothing really too major. Nothing mechanical that I've added. I've fixed some things, but so yeah, that's basically it for the truck. Okay, so moving back from the truck, this is a 2023 Rice, uh, seven and a half by 16, I believe is the size. Um, this is a really nice trailer. It's got brakes on the rear axle, and it's really well built compared to the last trailer I had. Um, this got this storage compartment on the front, which is just a catch-all for anything and everything. It's got wasp spray, uh, some trimmers and cutters, and some fix-a-flat, and a trailer lock. And then if we move on, we've got the gas cans, two and a half gallon uh, for mixed gas for the weed eaters and blowers, and then a five gallon sure can with premium fuel for the mowers, which I try not to use unless I have to. I'd like to stop at gas stations if I can. Um, then over there is a spare tire for the trailer that just kind of sits there for now. Eventually, I'd like to mount it somewhere, somehow. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of taking up space right now, but that's how I have it for now. And moving up here, we've got a 2014 John Deere 652R. This has a 25 horsepower Kohler EFI engine, a 52 inch deck. Um, it's got a lot of hours, 1,740 hours. Um, I've put 150 on it since I got it, so I got it with a lot of hours. Um, it's in decent shape. Um, it does good. It does what it needs to do. And then this year, I picked up this Gravely. It's a 2022 uh, Gravely Pro Stance 60. It's got a 25 horsepower Kawasaki on it. Um, I love the Kawasaki. It's a really smooth engine, and it has a lot of power. Uh, the 60-inch deck is nice as well. Um, it's a really fast mower. It's got good speed and does a lot better on hills. It's a lot more comfortable, just overall a lot newer and a lot more updated and up to date on all the little things and stuff so that's a really nice mower um, moving around to the back of the trailer does have a lift assist Dam it's more of a dampener it just keeps it from slamming it doesn't really help you lift but all led lights on the trailer which was something i had to have if i was going to get another trailer because i'm tired of trailer lights breaking off so these are all flush mounted into integrated into the trailer with actually good wiring and well built so i like that a lot so over here we've got a Husqvarna 150 BT backpack blower just for blowing off sidewalks and driveways and for leaves in the fall. Um, then we've got two still FS 70s here. This is a newer one. This one's older and not doing so well right now, but needs some work. Um, here I've got a brand new roll of um, black diamond uh, weed eater string. And that's about it for the daily mowing setup. So this is what goes out um about three or four days a week to mow and then the rest of the week the trailer is used for other things or i use the dump trailer so the trailer is not always used for mowing that's why i got a big one i wanted to be able to haul equipment when i need to and skid steers and stuff like that for bigger jobs in landscaping so moving along over here the dump trailer is kind of buried in stuff but i picked this up this year as well this is a eight by twelve tandem axle dump trailer um, it's got 5,000 pound axle, so 10,000 pound capacity. Uh, it's not in fantastic shape. I got a steel on it. It was super cheap. Um, repainted it and have been slowly 
fixing it up over time. Um, when I got it, it had like six nails in the tires. So every tire got plugs and a couple new tires and a little bit of everything. So it's actually full of stuff right now. It works super good. It's awesome. I don't know how I survived without it. And you can see Tiller over there, that kind of a piece of junk. And then if we move on into the shop where it's also a mess, we've got a lot more handheld equipment here. I've got this is a, let's see, Echo HC200, or no, HC2020 hedge trimmer. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's really nice. It makes good power and makes hedge trimming a breeze. It's really fun. This is a um, little still 56C, yep, uh, handheld blower. This is what used to be on the trailer. Then you got a little Poulon Pro uh, chainsaw here. I think that's a 12 inch bar. And then a still MC291 with a, an 18 inch bar. And then over here, a little pull behind dethatcher. I don't do a lot of dethatching, but a little bit here and there. So I figured I'd get that instead of renting something. Um, lots of handheld stuff, rakes, shovels, anything you can think of. There's the plow. It's kind of tucked away for the summer. Um, it's an eight foot Meyer blade with wings on it. So it's nine and a half feet wide with the wings that I built. And then this is just kind of the shop. This is where everything gets fixed. <laughs> and where things get built and worked on so it's kind of a disaster it's almost like i'm out of space already with the bigger shop so that's kind of crazy but everything's kind of cram packed into here and i still have way more room than i used to so really nice i can this spot is always open so the mowers go over there a lot of the time the truck will be in here um, not always but a lot of the time the trailers all sit outside so i usually have this area which is a lot of area to work on stuff when i need to and yeah, that's kind of the shop. More gas cans over there and lots of little stuff. Um, there's more, there's a snowblower and some other smaller equipment um, stored back by the house, but nothing of that you really care about. Um, so that's kind of the setup. That's all the equipment, um, big and small. It's been a successful couple of years for sure. And everything seems to be growing well and doing well. So yeah, this setup is a lot different than it used to be a lot bigger, a lot better, a lot more efficient. So business is good. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hopefully this was enjoyable and not boring. Um, this is the 2023 setup. We'll see what it looks like next year. What do you think? Do you have anything to say? You're just purring. <laughs>